Hey guys, this is Manny3034 here, and I'm going to do a tutorial about booting XP to a flash drive. Now what you guys need is this program here, which I'm going to put in the link on the description. And the magic how all this works. There's also extra programs that come with it, but we're mostly going to focus on XP. Because I already discussed how to do Vista and Center. So, I'm going to show you where you guys may download it from. Alright. First, we're going to start with the program to make XP bootable to a flash drive. So, here it is. You choose the first one. It's going to look like this in your in the description, in the link. What you want to do is go ahead and press this right here. And when it soon opens, you can either save it or open it. I recommend opening it. And when it soon opens, you're going to pop out in the other program that I was talking about, uTorrent. When uTorrent hits open, It'll ask you to put it in your file location. It's wherever you guys want to put it. Like, let's say, let's say I want to put it in a flash drive. One of my other flash drives. So I select the folder, and then I go ahead and press OK. So as you see, now it will soon start downloading when it hits the green light. All right. It'll take probably five to ten minutes to download. Well, I already downloaded this, so I'm gonna remove it. Now the other one is gonna look like this. It's gonna look like this. You just have to press download latest version. And then you go ahead you could either run or save as I said. Just press save. And when it's soon finished downloading, go ahead and press run. Do the whole setup for it. And then install. And it will finish the installation for it. So technically, you first install uTorrent. And then, you go ahead and download this one. As I showed you. Alright. Now. You go ahead and you want to open it. You press the folder that says Option 1 for XP. Now, from here, you have to format your flash drive where it says USB Formatter. That's where you want to be it. So, you run it as administrator if you're a Vista user or a 7 user. For XP, you just double click on it. There you go, I ran it as administrator. Now, choose the flash drive that you want to format it in. Make sure it's NTFS. You can go ahead and do a quick uh, format if you wish, or a long one, doesn't matter. So go ahead and press start. Now it's warning you that all whatever's in your flash drive will be deleted. So I'm going to say yes. And it's a quick uh, format. So while this is formatting, we're going to do the setup for the program. It's called Win Setup Form USB. Oh, wait. Oh, what do you know? It's finished. See? I told you guys. It's very quick. All right. Go ahead and close that. Now, go ahead and double click this. Because you got to install this. It will pop out as this. Go ahead and go next, click agree, go next, go next, say yes, and start the install. As I said, uh, installing this, everything you install goes quickly, or everything you format goes quickly, depending on how you do it. Now we want to go let it launch, exit. Now, for this is of course a flash drive 
I recommend for the capacity of the flash drive a gig or higher if you wish. And of course a copy of Windows XP. And here it is. Now don't mess with any of the settings here because it's already set up for it. And see it already knows the flash drive that I'm going to use. Now we gotta browse for Windows XP. So I'm gonna go, go ahead and browse on my computer and go to the DVD drive. Just press, just click once and just press OK. Now it shall soon be loading it up. And it will tell us if it's ready. Because the go button will start to look like the exit button. Load. Alrighty. Now, when it soon tells you that it's ready, you go ahead and press go. Now, for this, on how many minutes it will take, it will probably take about 20 to 35 minutes exactly. Uh. Yeah, sometimes the program uh, doesn't go correctly unless if you run as an administrator. So I'm going to pause the video and then I shall get back to you when I get the program running again. Okay, now I'm back and it's all set up. So when it's soon ready, you go ahead and press go. Now. As I said before, this may take 20 to possibly 30 minutes to finish. And uh, it's installing everything that it needs for XP to be bootable. Because XP is very hard to be bootable off to a flash drive. So whoever created this program knew what they were doing. So, I'll see you guys when this is soon finished. Okay, it is about to be finished. Just need a few more to go. Now, when this is soon finished, here's what you want to do. You want to go ahead and uh, just shut down. And then you want to go either in the boot menu or into the BIOS. This is for the next step when you're making the flash drive boot to the operating system of XP. See, uh, as you see, it says finished, blah, blah, blah. Just say agree. Now, it also, it also says keep the USB plugged in. Ever. Just press OK. Now everything's all finished. Now, what you want to do, as I said, go ahead and shut down your computer and either go to the boot menu or into the BIOS. Now, you can go ahead and wait until I show you how to. Unless if you already know, then go ahead and shut down the computer already and just go along ahead while I go pause the video and then get everything set up for you. Okay? Alright. Alright guys, here's the last of the video and here's the flash that I'm going to use to boot off XP. So let me go ahead and plug this in. If I can. Okay. Plugged it in. Alright. So, you want to turn it on. Now, you can either go to the boot menu or the BIOS. So, I'm going to go into the boot menu. Okay. Hopefully, we can see. Oh, good. Now, you want to boot off the USB hard drive. If you have a gateway. 
If you have any other, it will probably say USB something or flash drive something. So, I'm going to boot it off there. Sorry for the glare. Uh, I have a light here. Okay. Ah, see? Now, here's the little menu. You're suspecting the blue screen, how the Windows setup is. Well, it's different. But, of course, you're going to get there. Let's go ahead and press enter. You want to do the first part. The second part is when you're doing the rest of the installation. So you want to press enter. And there it is. Alright guys, thank you for watching. Comment, rate, subscribe. And still, let me know when you when what you guys wanna wanna watch. Tell me what kind of things you guys want to learn. Alright. Peace out, guys. Any 3034, out.